Pop icon Shakira and her partner Gerard Piquet have been together for the best part of a decade at this point. The Barcelona defender is known as one of the greatest soccer players of his time, but what do you know about the man himself? Shakira referred to Gerard Piquet as her husband in a January 2020 Instagram video, but the two aren't actually married. When she sat down with 60 Minutes to promote her Super Bowl halftime show, the Hips Don't Lie singer told correspondent Bill Whitaker that she has zero interest in becoming Mrs. Gerard Piquet, saying, "...to tell you the truth, marriage scares the shit out of me. I don't want him to see me as the wife." She went on to explain why. "...I'd rather him see me as his a girlfriend. girlfriend." Exactly. Yeah. Hmm. His lover, his girlfriend, like a little <laughs> forbidden fruit, you know? Interestingly, this isn't the first time that Shakira has taken this stance with a partner. Before meeting Piquet, the former voice judge was involved with Argentine entrepreneur Antonio de la Rua, son of the country's former president. They started dating in 2000 and were together for over a decade, but she didn't feel the need to make it official. Speaking to USA Today in 2009, Shakira described herself as being semi-married to Rua. We function as a married couple. We don't need papers for that. The songstress is taking a similar approach to her relationship with Piquet, partly because she wants to keep him on his toes as the years tick by. I want him to think that anything is possible depending on behavior. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that Shakira and Gerard Piquet share the same birthday is pretty romantic, sure, but it becomes a little less cute when you discover that the sports star is a full decade younger than she is. Speaking to the Scottish Sun, the singer admitted that she had her reservations to begin with. He was only 23 when I met him. I was concerned about the age gap as I was 33. Her concerns melted away, however, and before long, she was writing a song about falling for her boy toy, the aptly titled 23. A fair few of Shakira's songs have since been inspired by her relationship with PK. She's confirmed that the one thing is about the soccer star being her destiny. And Shakira actually references their age gap in the song Me Enamore. Shakira went to a Catholic school and was brought up to believe in God. She released her first two records when she was still in high school, despite the fact that her music teacher refused to let her join the school choir. He didn't want in me in the school choir. choir. He didn't want me in the school choir. Why? He didn't like the way I sang. After her first two albums bombed, she took a break to concentrate on finishing school and would, of course, go on to become a superstar after graduating. But Shakira struggled with her faith in those early days. The vocalist told Elle, I was always very religious, and for a few years, maybe because it sounds so corny, I was not feeling the love like it was supposed to be. I started to think that there was no God, and suddenly I met Gerard and the sun comes out. Gerard Piquet is practically royalty in his home city of Barcelona, where soccer is less a sport and more a way of life. His grandfather was once a director at the city's world-famous soccer club, and he made sure that his grandson was signed up as an official club member on the day he came into the world. Piquet was being touted as a future Barcelona player as soon as he could kick a ball, and even though that eventually came true, the strapping defender had to go the long way about it. He played for Barcelona's academy as a boy, but Piquet knew that he would have to look elsewhere for senior action after an embarrassing encounter with Dutch coach Louis van Gaal, who was in charge of Barcelona at the time. According to The Guardian, Piquet met van Gaal at a lunch organized by his grandfather. The notoriously stern manager looked Piquet up and down and then reportedly pushed him over and told him that he was too weak to be a Barcelona defender. Many soccer coaches practice tough love, but that's just plain mean. Gerard Piquet moved from one famous soccer club to another in search of game time, but it didn't work out for the youngster at Manchester United. He failed to settle in England, partly because he was homesick and partly because he couldn't understand a word his manager was saying. But nothing compared to combative midfielder Roy Keane, the one Manchester United player who absolutely terrified Piquet. Speaking to the Players' Tribune, Piquet recalled the time he forgot to turn his cell phone off before a big game. The then 18-year-old was already nervous about playing alongside some of the greatest players of that generation, so the last thing he wanted to do was stand out. Of course, that's exactly what happened. His phone went off in the locker room, and Keane reportedly flew into a rage. Piquet recalled, "...you know the famous scene with Jack Nicholson in The Shining when he burst through the door? That's what he looked like." Finally, I spoke up, like a little boy. Very softly, I said, 
I'm so sorry, it's mine. Roy lost his mind. Enrolling in a summer course at Harvard in 2017, Gerard Piquet joined the prestigious school's Business of Entertainment, Media, and Sports program. Rapper LL Cool J and actor Channing Tatum took the same course the previous year, and Piquet's class was also full of famous faces, most notably Katie Holmes. For Piquet, Harvard was all about getting ready for the future. He already expressed an interest in following his grandfather's footsteps by representing Barcelona at a boardroom level, and according to those who know what that entails, Piquet is the ideal person for the president job. Former president Joan Laporta told radio station Rack One, he knows the club, he's a Barcelona fan, he's a player, the best center back in the history of Barcelona, and he has character and the will to work. He's shown that he's ready. Gerard Piquet may be a popular figure in Catalonia, but Barcelona isn't the only soccer team in the region. Barca's star defender also comes under fire from fans of the team's local rival, Espanyol. There's nothing unusual about fans insulting opposition players with chants, but in Piquet's case, he isn't the sole target. In January 2020, officials hit Espanyol with disciplinary action after its supporters sang a derogatory song about Shakira a total of 13 times during their match with Barcelona. This wasn't the first time diehard Espanyol fans had used the Colombian songstress to get to Piquet. The club was fined around $26,000 in 2016 after supporters created an insulting banner and unfurled it during a game, knowing it would be seen by TV cameras and, most likely, Shakira herself. There's nothing that Piquet can do to stop people bringing cardboard cutouts of his baby mama to games, but that doesn't mean he can't get his own back during interviews. The Barcelona legend stirred the pot when he suggested that Espanyol wasn't even in Catalonia. Shakira's beau has a reputation as a serial prankster in the world of soccer, and it's well-earned. Gerard Piquet has played tricks on numerous teammates, but while his fans love his mischievous streak, his victims don't always see the funny side. The Barcelona defender made headlines in 2014 when, according to Spanish outlet Sport, he decided to set off a stink bomb on a team flight to Finland. That might seem pretty harmless, but this wasn't even a private flight. Furious airline staff apparently had to apologize to other passengers for the unpleasant smell. The stink bomb incident is just one of many. Piquet and Barcelona teammate Lionel Messi reportedly set a staffer's moped on fire because the engine was too loud, although the duo supposedly replaced it with the latest model the day after. <laughs> Piquet once admitted that he also torched some custom-made shoes belonging to his Manchester United teammate Patrice Evra. Piquet explained, I went to the showers, made a little bonfire, and burned them. Evra was not amused and later revealed how he got his revenge while appearing on quiz show A League of Their Own. I take his shoes, I go in the toilet, and <laughs> inside <it. laughs> Soccer is so popular in parts of Europe that it can influence politics, and nowhere is the line between the two more blurred than in Barcelona, the capital of Catalonia. While technically and legally in Spain, many residents of the region view Catalonia as its own separate entity, and debates over independence have been raging in recent years. It was only a matter of time before Gerard Piquet got involved, and he upset a lot of people when he did. It's often said that football and politics shouldn't mix, but the reality is that they do. In 2017, the Catalan government announced it was going to stage an independence referendum, which was quickly ruled illegal by the central Spanish government. A number of Catalan officials were arrested, and clashes between police and would-be voters got violent, something Piquet urged against on Twitter. Writing in the Catalan language, the athlete offered his support for the referendum, BBC Sports reports. Piquet has never confirmed that he would vote for Catalonia to leave Spain given the chance, but fans of the Spanish national side have come after him regardless. Piquet has been booed by his own supporters in numerous international games, many of whom see him as being anti-Spain. Gerard Piquet is a busy man, so busy that he usually only sleeps for around four to five hours a night. According to Forbes, the soccer star begins work on his personal business ventures as soon as he's finished training. But all this extracurricular activity is making Barcelona bosses nervous. Piquet's purchase of FC Andorra led to questions about whether a player should be allowed to own a soccer club when he's still playing competitively himself. 
He also upset a lot of people with his involvement in a short 2018 documentary, produced by Piquet's company, which followed striker Antoine Griezmann as he decided whether to leave longtime club Atletico Madrid for Barcelona. Reports coming out of Spain suggest that higher-ups at the club are so fed up with Piquet's entrepreneurial pursuits that they started including so-called anti-Piquet clauses in their contracts in 2020, in the hope that it will keep players focused solely on soccer. Gerard Piquet has always been a polarizing character, and that isn't going to change anytime soon. Add in the fact that he isn't afraid to comment on hotbed political issues, and it's not hard to see why some people just can't stand the man. Does he let that bother him? You know enough about Piquet at this point to guess the answer. When asked about his detractors, Piquet said, I take no notice and I have a good time. The world of football is a show. Everything is a farce. Everything that you read is a lie. When we get in a mess, it's because we want to. We want to add a bit of spice. The Barcelona star admitted that he used to let his critics get him down when he was new to the game, but he's too old and wise to let that happen these days. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.